Hi guys, welcome to this third video of my Angular 17 tutorial series. In this video, I'll be talking about data binding and the different types of data binding in Angular. So data binding means that when we have some data, it can be the data in the form of string, integer, array, objects, how we can render and show this particular type of data in our HTML file where the HTML tags or element exists. Okay, so this is the TypeScript file. This is the HTML file. So I showed you in the previous video that how this title value is being rendered on the HTML file. If I search title over here, so you can see that it is using interpolation to show the value of this title. Okay, so now first of all, let me tell you that this is the TypeScript file. TypeScript is used when we want to define the data types of the value. So this title contains the string, but currently by default, it does not have the data type. In TypeScript, we can write colon and the different built-in data types uh, over here. So this is representing that the value which is going to be stored in this variable, it will be of type string. It can be an integer number, uh, it can be object or array. So if I write number, you will see that it is going to throw an error because the type is number, but the value is string. So this is the benefit of TypeScript. This is what makes TypeScript different of JavaScript. It the, we can define data type to the return value of a function, to the parameters of the function and creating interfaces and types. As I go along, I will explain you each and everything about the TypeScript for now. Let's give it a string. Okay, so this is the title and now let's come to HTML file. First of all, I'm going to remove everything from HTML file to make it a bit cleaner. Uh, so now this is the title. Let me show the title first of all at the top. So let's see. Hello. And then I'm going to use interpolation with double curly braces and I'm going to write title. And if I see over here, you will see that it is showing the value of that title. Let me zoom in a bit. So it's, it's looking like this. All right. So this is how we can, we can pass the data from component to the HTML. All right. Let me create another variable in my component. So I'm going to write my button. And this is going to be of type string as well. And uh, let me give the button like this. And in my HTML, let me define a button over here. So it can be like this type button. And here I can use interpolation to write the variable name. All right. So let's see what it shows. Uh, let's uh, refresh. Uh, let's see let's go to the component my button over here now you can see that it's showing the button and the value inside this button actually i forgot to save the files uh, so the value inside it is being fetched from here from the value of this variable and this is how we are rendering over here now i'm going to create uh, another variable instead i'm going to write is disabled of type boolean and then I'm going to define the value false because in HTML, you know that we have a disable attribute. So let me add a comment as well so that we remember what is that. So this is called the attribute binding. Okay. So now I'm going to use this particular variable in order to disable or enable this particular button. So here I can define disabled. We have to define the disabled, which is the built in attribute name of the button and add it inside the curly, uh, sorry, the square brackets. Okay. Equals to the name of the variable. So is disabled. So let's go. Currently it's not disabled. The reason is that it is false. Let me disable it by writing true over here. Now you can see that the button is disabled because the value is being returned from here is true. And the disabled true means that the button will be disabled. 
okay and just like this attribute binding we can uh, have uh, like image passed from this typescript file to the html file as well so i have this image already added it will not be added by default in the assets folder you need to add your own image it can be the png jpeg whatever the format is so for the attribute uh, so let me first define an image over here so below this button we can have img um so this is the square brackets with the source property and inside it i can define the angular image value this is not a string this is the variable name okay so let's define the width as well 100 uh, it can be the 100 here as well and uh, let's add the alt as well so angular image all right so currently it is showing that this angular image variable does not exist in the component so let's come over here in the component and i'm going to define that angular image of type string equals to and here we have to define the path so in order to define the path we can go outside one step and then we can go inside the assets and inside the assets we directly have the angular 17.png image now let's save this file and see whether it shows that particular image or not let's refresh that so it's not showing that let me see let me debug that first of all actually there has to be dot over here all right so now yes you can see that it is showing that particular image and uh, this is how we are doing attribute binding next thing i want to show you what is style binding and what is class binding style binding means that uh, when we have the different styles uh, like uh, you can say text color or a background color and uh, we can pass those values from our typescript file to the html file for that reason i will come over here i will be writing uh, let's do the style binding first of all okay so inside it i can define different variables let's define the background color this is going to be the green let's define the title color this is going to be white let's define the description as well but for now uh, let's keep the background color and the title color first of all and let's go to the html file and uh, here i can define the div first of all and inside this div i can define h2 let me define the title and also the p tag and let's define the description okay so here i can use the style dot and the name of that particular property which i want to apply to it so i can write the background color equals to background color all right and this background color remember that is coming from here all right so let's refresh that let me try to refresh this all right so now you can see that the title is description the background color is green because this is the value i passed from here all right so now let's use uh, this title color and give it to that so i can use style dot color equals to title color all right and for the description i can uh, define uh, over here but first of all let me test the title color and now you can see that the color have been changed now in order to add the description we can pass more than one values to it so let me do that so in the component i can define the description variable so let me do that description of type string equals to and i can define the font size which is the css internal property and i can write let's say 50 pixels semicolon and then i'm going to define the color equals to red and uh, i can add more properties so currently i have defined this whole css within this particular variable okay so let me save it and let's go over here 
and uh, rather than defining the style dot background color or style dot text color i will only be writing style over here and it is going to take all the properties which is being added from the description variable in my typescript file now let's go now you can see that the color have been changed and the size have been changed along with that just by adding the variable and uh, this method is called uh, the attribute binding with the style property next thing i want to show you is the data binding uh, attribute binding you can say using the class keyword just like the style over here so let's come over app.component.ts file and i'm going to define one variable over here okay so this is going to be the class binding and here i can define a red text of type string equals to let's give it uh, anything a b c d okay so here i can write this a uh, variable like a component h2 and uh, i'm going to define the title first of all yes it's rendered and uh, now i can use class dot text color okay this is expecting a boolean value to it it means that uh, we have to define a true okay so let's go over here and uh, you can see that it is showing nothing over here the reason is that uh, i'm using a b c d and this is the red text and we can use that particular property red text equals to a b c d there is an error i need to define the single quote as well here so i'm going to save it let's refresh it so app component 2 is not resolved let me see actually the error is resolved i refreshed uh, this page and also saved these files again all right so currently you will see that there is no change exist on this particular title and uh, you might be confused that what is this text color this text color should be added in our css file so this condition when met then this particular class that we will be writing in scss file is going to be applied so we can write false to or anything uh, over here i just showed you uh, we can define the conditions as well with the conditional operators it can be the equals to less than equals to greater than equals to if this is an integer okay so now this text color let me copy this let's go over here in the scss and here i can define color equals to red now let's go now you will see that this color is red the reason is that it is being applied because this condition is returning true because the variable red text is equals to a b c d from here all right now if i try to change its value to a b c you will see that it will be back to the default title and this color is not being applied because this condition is not getting true so this class is not being used over here for this h2 element okay so that's pretty much it for this video i talked about the data binding in the next video i will be talking about two ways data binding like uh, when we pass the value from the component to the html then we will should be able to pass the value back from html to this component okay and that is going to be very important topic see you in the next video thank you so much for watching